Hello my friends, Kate here. Today I will show you how to crochet spike stitch, which is a very cute variation on basic single crochet. It's reversible and rather dense, so it's a good choice for blankets or, and home decor. On my website you will find a written pattern for this stitch and a photo tutorial. The links are in the description box below. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell button to never miss a video. For this tutorial I used DMC cotton yarn with a 2.5mm crochet hook, but you can use any yarn with a corresponding hook. I will use many colors for this stitch and I encourage you to use at least two to see what this stitch can do. To start you need to make a slip knot and a foundation chain of any number of stitches. I will later tell you what difference it makes if you go with an even or uneven number. I've decided to go with 16. Now make one additional chain stitch and make one single crochet in the second stitch counting from the hook. In this row we are working one single crochet in each stitch to create a base for our spike stitches. You should end up with the same amount of stitches you chose when making the starting chain, so in my case it's 16. Your first row is finished, now on to the second one which is exactly the same. Make one chain stitch, turn the work and to again make one single crochet in each stitch. I will meet you near the end of the row. When you work your last stitch of the row, leave it unfinished. It means that you stop before your last pull through with two loops on your hook. That's where we are going to change colors because otherwise our spike stitch wouldn't be visible. I've decided to use this vibrant yellow color. Keep it with your fingers behind your work and finish the stitch using it as your working yarn. Now make one chain stitch and turn the work. This row is where we are finally work the spike stitches. Make one single crochet in the first stitch Your next stitch is spike stitch. It works exactly like a single crochet, but you need to insert your hook lower than you would usually do. It's the space between the stitches really, but it's on the same axis. Be gentle with your yarn here and don't pull it too hard. Once you've got your two loops on the same height, finish it off like you would a normal single crochet. This is your first spike stitch. Now work one regular single crochet, but remember to skip the stitch that is hidden under the spike stitch. Often it sticks out a little and can be confusing as to which one you should work next. 
I'm going to work one spike stitch and one regular single crochet until the end of the row. At the beginning I've mentioned that it doesn't matter how many chain stitches you start with. The only difference is that when you work an even number of stitches, like I do here, you will start your row with a regular single crochet and end the row with spike stitch. If you work an, an uneven number, however, you will start and end the row with the same kind of stitch. It doesn't matter to me, but it may matter to you, so keep it in mind. As you can see, my row ends with a spike stitch. Chain one and turn the work. After the row of spike stitches always comes a row of regular single crochets. That's because we need to build up a background for another row of colorful spikes. Make one single crochet in each stitch. I will meet you at the end of the row. Now it's time to change colors again, so don't finish your stitch and attach another color, just like we did in row 2. Make one chain stitch and turn the work. This row will be exactly the same as row 3, so I begin with one single crochet. Now to make a spike stitch, I need to insert my hook on the right side of the yellow spike. As you can see, when it's done, the spikes are exactly one over the other. I'm going to continue like this until the end of the row. Just like before, we are working one row of single crochet stitches after that. Here I'm going to show you how to alternate the spikes. I've already made one single crochet and here I'm making another one. Now my spike stitch is worked on the left side of the pink spike. As you can see, my last stitch is now a regular single crochet. 
And that's all. Repeat two rows, row of spikes and row of single crochet. Have fun with this stitch and alternate spikes as you wish, finding your own unique patterns. Lastly, take notice how the colors interact with each other. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or would like to see more, please leave suggestions and feedback down below. Thanks and have a creative day!